the world famous comedy store in Los Angeles. And he's since gone on to write for the legendary Joan Rivers. Oh. And he hosts his own podcast, Just Saying. Please welcome my friend Justin Martindale. Oh, oh, I know the energy is hot. <laughs> like, Justin, I haven't seen you in so long. What have you been up to since the last time I saw you? Well, I'm so glad you asked. <laughs> um, the last time I saw you was in a parking lot. I Not know. like that. <laughs> Relax. <laughs> Hey, parking lot work is work. I know, um, I know. <laughs> we were doing shows at the Magic Castle. That's, That's where right. I first met you. And the Magic Castle is like this magician's house in LA. Yeah. And we were doing outdoor shows because COVID was kind of like so over-ish, whatever. Mm -hmm. And I was like, great, we're, we're performing next to magicians. What could go wrong? Mm -hmm. um, and because magicians make people disappear and comedians just want people to show up. Exactly. So, and, and so that's why I met you and I've been a fan of yours since The View and then I brought you up at the comedy store and uh, this was right before you left for this show right. and you were like, you gotta come play with me in New York and here we are, it's Yay! happening! <laughs> I know. So wow, it seems like such a long time ago, but three years ago, the pandemic lockdown began mm -hmm. and you had a strange visitor back then. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I, um, I had a ghost. Really? Uh, I know. I had a ghost in my apartment. My apartment was built in like 1932 and it's yeah. Hollywood. So of course someone died in it <laughs> and I had to get stuck with it. It wasn't anything like scary. It was just, I was, I was, I drank all the wine. Uh, I watched all the porn. I, <laughs> I talked to my plants, yeah. you know, and then all of a sudden like a door would just open up oh my God. and like a cabinet. And I was like, not like this, you know, <laughs> like. It wasn't anything scary, like a red ball wouldn't like roll across right. the floor and it would like land at a little Victorian girl dressed like Britney Spears on Instagram <laughs> or anything. Or like, you know, this, like I'd open my medicine cabinet and then I'd shut it and there'd be like a dead nun behind me. Nothing yeah. crazy like that. Okay. Because if that would happen, I would have pooped all over this floor, <laughs> like immediately. Like, and she's just doing her job to scare me, you know? <laughs> so I asked like, you know, my friend in LA who is a vegan influencer because they're experts at everything. Yeah. Um, and, she, and she was like, oh, hi, this is how you get rid of your ghost. You know, and it's always, it's always like some girl without an upper lip who knows everything, right? She's like, you just get some sage and you just walk around and you say, go away, like be gone. You're so annoying. And I'm like, and then you can even open a door and a window and all that energy will just close and you'll be rid of that ghost. And I was like, thanks, Ashley, with a GH. <laughs> um, so I got some sage and, you know, now I make them pay rent. So okay. it's good. They didn't go anywhere. They didn't go there. nowhere, nope. So, oh my gosh, you're gonna be an uncle. I know. Are you excited? I am, yes, yes, thank you. I'm very, I'm very excited. Um, <laughs> My sister-in-law, Ashley, with a G-H. Uh, no, uh, I'm, I'm having a, a, a nephew, and it's crazy because all the men in the family all have girls, so we're hoping it's a boy. Yeah. And uh, the only thing is, is that my sister-in-law was like, he or she may be born on your birthday because my birthday is next Monday, and I was just, I turned into a Disney villain. I was like, blasphemy, you know? <laughs> I was like, green flames flew behind me, like ravens were circling. I was like, what an awkward situation. Cause I'm not sharing my birthday with a baby. No, I'm the gunkle. No, it's about me. <laughs> so yeah, I was like, but I'm happy. Yes, I'm very, very excited. Mr. Uncle, this is exciting too, because I hear that you got love for the Latin superstar Enrique Iglesias. Oh yeah. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> I do, like I grew up in Texas yeah. and so, yeah, really, okay. And um, so I grew up in the 90s and the, and the 2000s, so I just love music in general, yeah. but like pop music is so like special to me. I just mm -hmm. love dancing and jamming out to classics. But like Enrique Iglesias like can get it, you know? It's like, <laughs> seriously, right? I mean, think about, like, I mean, listen. There's just something about him. Like he just, like he'll whisper, he's like, let me be your and you're like, ah, oh, okay, Poppy, you know? <laughs> so I was at my favorite escape room in Los Angeles called Trader Joe's. Uh -huh. and, <laughs> and his song came on the intercom and I just started, he started like pulling out at me corazón strings cause like it's just emotional. But here's the thing, I don't know what's wrong with him. I don't know if he needs like a Prilosec yes. or has like, you know, 
like some some stomach issues because <laughs> I'm checking out the at the counter and his song's on and this is what I heard. Would you dance? <laughs> if I asked you to dance, <laughs> would you run? <laughs> Never look back. <laughs> no, would you die? <laughs> <laughs> For the one you love, pour me in your uh, <laughs> tonight. Okay. I'm like, are you okay? Yes. You need no, to do you to agua? <laughs> <laughs> Justin Martindale, I love you so much, I and I want to say thank you for being thank here. You for being, I, wanna, yeah. I know Justin's new comedy special, Gay Bash, premieres March 20th on Out TV and Moment House, and you can catch Justin live at the Bell House in Brooklyn on March 22nd. Get your tickets before they're gone. Yeah.